Hi everyone. So I wanted to show to you some extra things here that I have on my pattern texture tool. Other than the pattern tool, I have some bonuses in the set. And I wanted to explain some ideas on how you can use it. First, I wanted to show you here. When you receive the product, you're going to receive two bonus textures here. And the pet file, of course, and another watercolor and a swatch file. So first, I want to show to you how you can use the swatch file here. How can you install it in Photoshop? So let's go there. I have here a 10 by 10. First, what we do, we're going to go uh, to the colors. If you go window and then color. And you, here you have swatches. So there is some swatches that come with Photoshop and I have here some other uh, swatches that I created and you, you see here this swatch. But the way you, you install this swatch here is you go here to this hamburger menu and you're gonna go import. So after that, you're gonna go to your folder and here you tap on the file and you open. And here, is the swatch. If you wanted to delete a swatch, you just click on it and hit delete. I'm going to delete because I already have saved here. But I want to show you here now that we have the swatch over here. This is just to help you do something cohesive on your layout and especially very useful um, when we're going to do some art journal later with some other products and to do even your scrapbook pages and if you want to create your own style of artsy paper that i've been showing here how to mix and match things so and let's take advantage of the textures that i have for you so i just want to give you some so we're going to start here with my water blender brushes let's start here with a base going to start a new layer and let's start with this light green here okay and let's go to another brush I always like to change brushes so we diversify I'm going to go to this very yellow I'm gonna reduce the size yeah Okay, maybe some extra texture with the pink. And you can create those on a different layer. I'm just putting them on the same layer. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my mixed media. Set gonna get the blender you cannot use this technique in Photoshop elements you can smudge if you want but in Photoshop you can use this blender brush but if not if you're in Photoshop elements you just you know brush as you go so we have this beautiful blended paper here so now we have here using the swatches with um, the brushes so i want to show you here the extra goodies that i have so i have this texture um texture watercolor texture here so let's bring it and it's a very high resolution in a 9 by 12 which is not a problem i'm just gonna reduce the size here because it's a very high resolution as you can see you can do different parts of it you can make it smaller and bring it up stretch it do whatever you want so now we're going to use a blend mode and uh, this one and then you can see that it already gives you that nice watercolor background look which is extra nice and Another touch that you can give is let's bring some of the new salted watercolor papers, at least new in the time that I'm uh, recording this. Um, let's bring the purple because it's my favorite color. And let's bring it here. I guess you're going to know what I'm going to do. 
I want to bring this great salted textures that I have here on this paper to my created paper. So what we are going to do, first of all, I'm going to put this here on a group. Okay, so now we have this on a group just to make them together. Now we're going to put a mask here. And sorry that you cannot see that on the screen. I, I cut my screen wrong there. But I'm going to the layer mask option Alt, click on layer mask, hide. This part, you can do everything that I'm showing here on Photoshop Elements, okay? So let's go again. I'm now going to go to my newsletter freebie. You sign up to the newsletter. Um, I have the link in the video and so let's blend this baby here and bring just this kind of textures and I'm gonna make it smaller. Remember the color has to be white to bring it back. I want it to be settled so I'm gonna reduce this brush at maybe 70%. And what it does is you can bring just enough, just enough. I don't remember where the textures, salted textures are, so I'm just trying to guess. I'm gonna reduce the flow and I'm gonna do another uh, video about the difference of this in terms of blending with brushes, the flow and so on. So you can start experimenting, bringing some of that texture Okay, if you want, you can also use a blend mode with this one to set even more inside the paper. I'm not gonna see much on these ones um, as I have the multiply here, or you can be normal as well. But as you can see, you create a whole different set of papers there and always started with you using the swatches here with your brushes. So pretty cool what you can do with it. Again, use always your supplies. I don't want you to, you know, buy my papers and just use once. I want to help you think about how many uses you can have to that paper. How can you diversify? And how can you bring that watercolor um, aspect to your layout or your creation or your art journal. So I hope you enjoy. I will see you guys next time.